Hello everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'd like to share with you how to make a box to put your card into. I make cards that are quite bulky and I often struggle in being able to put them in an envelope of some form when I create something and often it's just a standard envelope which is quite uh, sizable and um, I came across um, some Pinterest posts and um, using a Martha Stewart scoring board came across some posts where um, you can actually make a box that will fit uh, six by six cards which is a one sized card that I do like to make quite a bit. This is the box that I'll show you that we'll make today and here's an example of a card that I've just made. As you can see it's quite bulky, it has quite a lot of embellishments and with this style box you can easily put this card in and what a difference it makes in being able to create a box and giving this to the recipient as opposed to a boring old plain envelope. You could use pattern paper, you don't have to embellish it. I chose to embellish mine um, with leftover papers that I had but just the option of creating a box to um, put your bulky cards into is a real game changer I think. So I'll just take out this card just so that you can see once again the layers that I've got and how easily it fits. Nothing squashed and there you go. So I'll show you how quick and easy it is to make this type of envelope card box. To begin with you will need a 12 by 12 piece of card stock and you'll need to trim it so that it measures 11 inches. So on your paper trimmer, trim your first side to 11 inches, rotate it once. And again, mark it and measure it at 11 inches. Now you'll need your Martha Stewart scoreboard for the next step. On the back of your scoreboard you'll have one of these and that's what we'll be needing to complete this box card. What you'll need to do is to place this into this section here and to make sure that it is securely in place, making sure that it meets right up to that corner edge right up there. I'll just get out my scoring tool. Okay, now what you'll need to do is rotate your paper so that it is in line with this diagonal edge and for the first score we're going to score at 4 inches and for the second score 4.5. Rotate your paper once and again pushing it up to that diagonal edge. We're going to score once more at 4 inches and once more at 4.5 inches. Rotate your paper once more, placing it against that diagonal edge, four inches, four and a half inches. And for the final score, again, against that diagonal edge, four inches and four and a half inches. Okay, and that's it. We're finished with the scoreboard, so I'll just put that to one side. What I like to do is to fold over all my score lines for this next step. Just press over. You can even burnish those and reinforce those if you wish.
Okay. Now, we're going to do some cutting. As you can see, in each corner, there is a series of creases. We are going to cut along these intersections, like so. Hope you can see where I'm cutting. So you'll see that it looks like a little square and there are some uh, triangular type shapes. So we're going to do that on each of those sides. It's really quick and fast to make this project. You can make a few if you wish and put them aside for as a stockpile. Okay, so the next part is gluing. For my first one I used a combination of wet glue and also double sided tape. I found that um, either is fine. Um, for my project that I showed you I just used wet glue. So for today's demonstration I'm just going to use wet glue. Just to show you what it will look like is it just folds up like this. How simple is that? I actually like having this flap on the front. I think it looks neater. So I'm just going to apply some wet glue into this corner and then I will just hold it in place. And then I'm going to apply some glue onto this edge here. And again, I'll hold it in place. And that's it. The final um, step to enclose your um, envelope card box is you could use a little uh, sticker. I've just bought this from the office supply store, just a little sticker like so. And uh, what I did on this completed project was I just cut off the adhesive strip halfway so that once I'm ready to seal this, I just uh, finish pulling it off. I bought these in white because um, the bulk of my envelopes that I plan to make will probably be white. So that's how you make a card envelope card box for 6 inch cards. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day.